Okay, so this is the last PowerPoint. This is the types of acid-base reactions. So these are basically, <clears throat> they still follow all the regular rules for, for balancing and for predicting chemical equations like we did pre, like previous units with um, chemical equation, but these are specific for acid. So some of these actually might look similar, like they're you know, single, display, single displacement, double displacement, that kind of thing, but they have a little bit more specific names and there's a couple of exceptions. So let's go over these. So there's four we're gonna talk about. Um, the last slide will kind of have a summary of all of these. So there's a basic neutralization reaction, ones that produce gas, and then you have a couple of very specific ones where you have an acid reacting with a metal, and an acid reacting with a metal oxide, which is just a metal oxide is any metal, like magnesium oxide is a metal oxide, while metal would be if it was just reacting with just magnesium, okay? So let's hit these real quick. So when an acid and a base are mixed, the hydrogen ion from the acid combines with an OH from a base to form H2O. This is the most common. This is mainly with Arrhenius. But that's the, kind of the basic idea. Um, and then it produces a salt. They generally make water, some form of water, and a salt. And you got to remember that salt is actually a generic term for any ionic compound. That's why these are even easier than normal because they're just basically, like I said, they're just adding some new names to types of reactions we've already learned about. So most, we say net ionic equation. Net ionic equation simply means... These are the ions that are doing something. There's other stuff here, which are called spectator ions, um, just in case you see it. Like up here, we have Cl and OH, not Cl, not, not, OH, not OH, sorry. Um, we have Cl and K. They're moving around to make this, but they're not actually the key focus of the reaction. So that's why when you have a net ionic, they only care about these guys because KCl, is actually still technically floating around as ions in the solution. They didn't make it as a net. Just you see net ionic. So neutralization reactions involve an acid and a base producing water and a type of some form of salt. That's the most basic neutralization reaction. Um, acid and an uh, Arrhenius base, something with an OH in it, makes water and a salt. Okay. So now this will get a little bit more complicated. Reactions involving carbonates or bicarbonates. So anything that says CO3 or HCO3 are actually also going to produce a gas. Okay, we call this a gas evolution reaction. So here you see HCl, there's our acid. NaHCO3, which is a sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, which this is a reaction, you know, acid and baking soda, makes water again. That's the, one of the most common products, water. And then because it's got one of these bicarbonates or carbonates, it also makes carbon dioxide gas. And then everything left over just becomes a salt. So the sodium and the chloride. So, you still, so basically the carbon and the oxygen in the carbate, uh, bicarbonate or the carbonate turns into carbon dioxide. And then anything left over is just is a salt floating around. So that is our second type of reaction. So we have neutralization which is an acid and a Arrhenius base makes water and a salt. We have a gas evolution reaction where you have an acid and either some ionic compound that either includes carbonate or bicarbonate produces water, carbon dioxide, and a salt. So that's basically, if you see the CO, you know that you're making, you're producing a gas. Okay, metals, this is regular metals. Regular metals, if you have a reaction between an acid and a metal, they normally make, again, this is the single replacement reaction that we did before. The hydrogen is released as a hydrogen gas and the metal combines, the anion and the cation combine to make a salt. So when you have an acid combining with just a straight metal, straight metal is going to produce hard, hydrogen the hydrogen gas and a salt. So again, I'm just summarizing a lot here. Neutralization is when you have a acid and an Arrhenius base, so something with an OH, and that makes water and a salt. Gas evolution is when you have an acid 
combining with something that contains carbonate or bicarbonate, and that's going to produce water, carbon dioxide, and a salt. And then if it's an acid with a metal, you get you produce hydrogen gas and a salt. And the last one, which I realized I did not put up a separate slide, becomes even easier. Uh, acid metal oxide. So if you have a metal or if you have an uh, acid with a metal oxide compound, it basically is going to work the same way as an acid based neutralization. You're going to produce water and some form of a salt. So these are our four types of reactions. Acid-based neutralization, which is just an acid and an Arrhenius base, produces water and a salt. Gas evolution, which is an acid. And then there's going to be something else here, some other cation. But the anion is CO3 or HCO3. That's going to produce water, carbon dioxide gas, and then a salt. You have an acid with just a straight metal. It's a single replacement reaction, and you're going to produce hydrogen gas and a salt. And then if it's an acid with a metal oxide, so a metal and an oxygen, you're actually going to end up getting, again, carbon dioxide, or sorry, water and a salt. Those are the four types of acid-based reactions you need to be able to identify and predict the products for. So there you go. That is done. You're officially done with notes for UW chemistry. Just practice now. Good job. You did it. Yay. That sounded weird. Sorry.